Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. Uh, do another video, variables and vectors. And I'm gonna run a full application. So this is gonna be a lengthy video. So get your coffee, get your Mountain Dew, get your popcorn, whatever you're gonna get. Sit back and relax and watch this. Actually, you may wanna get a notepad too because you're gonna take some notes, but you can press that magic pause button at each of the places and take notes. Anyway, <clears throat> you're gonna hear this little hum that's going on and that's because of my new PC and I'll figure that out later, but I wanted to get this video done. So ignore that and just listen to my voice as we go through this. All right, so let's get started. Here are the announcements we're gonna use. As you can see, it's a lot of them because I'm gonna try to be as detailed as possible and try to give as many options. And I'll also talk about other options you can do in the vector to kind of enhance your application. But this gives you a starting point. This gives you kind of a boilerplate to where you can go with this, uh, making little internal IVRs to your uh, to your PBX. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna change var. We're always gonna do, how about I spell it right again? I have problems spelling, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, we're gonna call this engineer. Did I spell it right? No, I didn't. <laughs> Engineer select. Uh, it's going to be a collect global one, one. And we're going to say four because I'll show you why later. It's actually quite funny. All right. But remember, this is the data. This is the data that will get updated right here in the assignment area. All right, so you want to pick the number, or, you know, the selection or whatever you're doing, but this is where the data that's going to be changed. All right, so we added that. Now we're going to go into, we got to make two parts of this application. All right, there's the two parts are the administration portion and the actual portion where people will call and try to find an engineer. So we're going to change the, do I want to do the admin first? Now let's do the let's do the calling one. All right, so we're gonna say pbxht uh, eng find. All right. Um. So let's see. This one is gonna be. Da, 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 whoop, sorry, my bad. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna say let's do wait time and and let me talk about wait time. The reason you want to do a wait time is it, it kind of helps with cell phones because when you call a vector from a cell phone and you don't have a wait time in there the first part of the announcement is probably going to get cut off so just take that in mind when you're when you're making these that's why i do wait times or where you're going to see a lot of people doing wait times all right uh let's see go to because you know there's got to be a go to so let's see seven eight nine i'm going to do nine ten eleven twelve seven so we're going to go 7 if uh, A equals 1. Go to step 8 if A equals, how about I put an equals? Equal, thank you. 2, go to step 9 if A equals 3, go to step 10 if a equals four all right so uh seven let's see let's see let's see what do i want to do oh yeah we're gonna say disconnect after announcement oh what did i make it three well let's see eight seven no seven is one so one is john so three one uh three two Disconnect. This one's who is this? This is Mike. So this one will be three one three three. Disconnect after announcement three one three four. Disconnect after announcement three one three. How about I do the right number there? Okay, and stop. Now <clears throat> let me talk about this. The reason I'm putting disconnects is just so you can hear it. This is for the example, but you can do things in here like go to another vector, go to a VDN, route to a number. So that's what you're gonna do. So if I was actually gonna make this work, I would say route to number, and because I'm calling off network or I'm calling to the PSTN, I type nine, and I do four one two five 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 one two one two, and you could put a number there, all right. 
So you could put someone's station here and say route to their extension, so 1000. And you can say coverage yes. So if I don't answer on my coverage paths, it will eventually go to voicemail. Hint, hint, that's a good idea to use. Um, but for this example, you can see you can do a lot of things based on what is selected. But I'm just going to play an announcement. 3132. All right. So now enter list trace vector 131. We're going to call it. So you can hear who the current engineer is. So take a listen. There's the ring back. I'm on call. Really? Me? Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I had to do that because it was quite funny. But you can see every single time, because uh, it equals four, and it is four, that, because you can see here, four, 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 four. All right, that tells you the four is not matching, and when it does, it disconnects after that announcement. So it finally found it. And every time I call it, I'm going to call it again. So you can hear. You can just hear it this time. There's the ring back. I'm on call. Really? Me? <coughs> oh, well. All right, so that that gives you the, the uh, or it shows you that I'm the one that's on call. All right, so we know we know the playing vector works. So now let's set up the administration part of this, and this is where you'll have engineers calling in to change the on-call engineer. All right, so let's get to it. Change vector 13, <clears throat> and I have a different VDN pointed to this one. You could set up, you know, something in, a, in another menu somewhere to have a secret button to push to get to this one, but we'll just do this one for now. So PBX, HT, admin, whatever. We'll just leave that as is. All right, so uh, wait time, two seconds, hearing silence. Let me just give music <laughs> so you know I'm calling the right one. We're going to say collect four digits after announcement 3120 because this is the one that uh, basically says here it is for none. And we're going to say go to step, I don't know, five if... Uh, Digits does not equal 1313. And there's better ways to do this, but you get my point. I'm just giving you an example. Equals 1313. And what this does, because my announcement says please enter your passcode, this is the passcode that they have to enter. All right. But you could go change that and you could put it in a variable and all that, but we won't do that. I'm just kind of simplifying it. But you can see what I'm doing here. So uh, announcement 3121. This is invalid passcode, and we're going to say go to step two, if unconditional. Seven, we're going to say collect one digit after announcement three, one, two, three for A. And this is uh, this this is what, well, here, I'll do it. Step 12, if A equals one, go to step, I got to double it here, 14, if A, and you'll see why. A equals two. Go to step 16. If A equals three, go to step uh, 18. If A equals four, and we're going to say the first one is John, which is three one two four. Uh, and we're going to say disconnect after announcement three one two eight. This is the general thank you for calling, or thank you for using the system. This is Mike, so 3125, disconnect after announcement 3128, 3126 uh, is Brian, disconnect after announcement 3128, and me, announcement 3127, disconnect after announcement 3128, and we're just do a stop here, even though it's going to disconnect, but at least... We'll do that. All right, so here's how this works. When you call in, you're going to hear music for two seconds, and then it's going to say, uh, thank you for calling the engineer selection system. Please enter your passcode. If I don't enter 1313, it's going to keep prompting me to enter the right passcode. If I do enter it, it's going to take me to step seven, which says collect one digit after announcement 3123. 3123 says, please select the engineer who is going to be on call. And then you select one through four, because one through four are the engineers that are available to be on call. 
and then once you select them it's updating the variable with the item you selected and then it's going to play the engineer you selected and then after that it's going to tell you it's done it hangs up on you and you're good to go all right so i'm going to show you how this works a list trace vector 13 and now let's call it and i'm going to show you the interaction and we'll call the other number to make sure it's working okay so 314 or 3437 no, three. There's the music. Please call the PBX How To's on call engineer selection system. Please enter your passcode. So I'm going to do 1414. That is an invalid passcode. Please try again. You're calling the PBX How To's on call engineer selection system. 1313. Please select the engineer who's going to be on call. For John, press 1. For Mike, press 2. For Brian, press 3. And for CJ, press 4. 4. Really? You selected me? Nah, I'm never on call. Thank you for using the engineer on call selection tool. Bye. All right, so there you go, and that's completed. So now let's call the main number. Let's call the let's call the locator. Let's call it that. Actually, hang on. List trace vector one three one. All right, so now let's call the locator and see if it works. I'm on call. Really, me? Okay, so I would have a route to in there, and it would route to my cell phone or route to wherever I want my home phone. Because I could have the engineers go update their phone numbers. That's another way to do variables. Uh, you can also do that in coverage paths, things like that. But you can see how this works. So display var. You can see it's currently 4. Right? So I'm going to say list trace vector 13. We're going to call back in. Let's say my shift is done, and now it's Brian's turn. So let's call the system. Come on, ring, ring. Thank you. There's the music. Thank you for calling the PBX How To's on call engineer selection system. Please enter your passcode. 313. Please select the engineer who's going to be on call. Brian. Press one. For Mike, press two. For Brian, press three. And for CJ, press four. So we're going to pick Brian. You have selected Brian to be the engineer that is on call. Thank you for using the engineer on call selection tool. Bye. Okay, so now let's look at the var variable. And there it is, three. Now let's test it. List, trace, vector, 131. One. So now let's call it. Let's call the locator and see if Brian gets the call. Brian is currently the engineer that is on call. All right, so I'm just doing that so you guys can hear it again for, for the example. But there you go. You now have a fully working locator system. You can enhance this by having variables of phone numbers. You can play additional things like, you know, are you sure you want to select this person? It's really up to you. But you can see I, I did a, I don't want to call it a basic because this is pretty advanced stuff, um, but a basic version of, of having a, a, a type of locator system. But you can just, just use your imagination and the things you can think up and do with this, you'll be rocking and rolling, all right? So any questions, any comments, any clarifications, please leave those in the comments field. I will answer them. I try to answer every comment I can and reply to them. Um, but again, any suggestions, any uh, questions you have, I think I already said that, but regardless of the fact, leave me comments. Leave me comments on the profile on my channel. Leave comments in the, uh, in the videos themselves because I'll get updates on them. I'll be happy to help wherever you guys need it. All right, so hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. I'm going to make more. And as always, subscribe, like, and I will see you all later. Bye.